Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you July 4, Thursday here. U.S. holiday, July 4th. Always a fun one when you're in the U.S. Nice summer afternoon. Um, going to be a quiet one today uh, with the U.S. out and ranges should be very, very limited. So not a lot to add today. We're just kind of getting ready for tomorrow which is non farms first thing we should talk about is Aussie our trade of the week this has gone upside down on us what looked like an excellent start the Monday bar was bearish engulfing down to uh, 6956 has all reversed 47 high overnight uh, if you want a nitpick you can still leave a stop at uh, 7051 um, but like we said yesterday when we saw this trade running out of logic uh, and energy I would just cut uh, we cut as it broke 30 and here we are we're just sitting here at 36 it should just float around you know 25 40 today or 30 50 uh, we don't expect any big moves in Aussie uh, we have no data out of Europe, just retail sales, and obviously no data uh, out of America. So it should be a quiet day. But uh, this trade looks to be one that we're going to have to clip and stop out of. Just wanted to talk about that first and foremost. Let's go to stocks. 3,000 traded. 3,006 was the high overnight. Got an interesting little 240 turn bar there. Um, should see support 29.80 today. You can probably sell this between 3,000 and 3,010 first time up here, but you can also probably buy this 29.80. Um, minis are open, uh, the futures are open, so this will be trading a little bit. Uh, we're a little bit short here, just on a trade up at uh, 3,000, and we're just going to play play around with this, try and grab some cash no real view no real super strong view here just seems a little bit overextended um, so we printed 29.13 a week ago and now we're kind of 90 handles higher um, and especially yesterday on the close on a shortened day we saw some excited buying which didn't really make much sense to us so we put on a uh, casual short up here in in the S&P minis Euro, everyone is getting very bearish with this Lagarde uh, pronunciation as the next ECB leader. Yesterday, selling rallies, as we talked about, was a good ticket. Today, we, we are beginning to doubt um, this side of the market. It looks like to me that this market's going to get caught short. Nobody knows what Lagarde's going to do. It's ridiculous at this juncture um, to start getting short euros ahead of someone who hasn't really even officially uh, been selected. She still has to go through some, some votes, EU bureaucratic stuff. Um, but I'm now of the opinion that the market's probably going to get caught short euros. And so you want to try and collect some euros on low ones today. Um, actually, no, change that. We'll wait. We're going to wait. Um, through 113.20, uh, this is where all the stops will be, the little intraday week stops will be. We'll start looking to get long. We don't want to buy low ones. Um, you could use this 112.55, which is the four-hour 200-day, a 200-unit uh, line here as support. It doesn't usually work so great, but um, and this here, same same type of area, 112.50, looks like support, but chances are we're not going to trade euro today. Uh, we're going to be out on the bike this afternoon. But I'd be careful being short euro now. We've had a couple of days of selling rallies. It has gone nowhere. Um, 
So there's going to be a lot of stale positions out there. Euro yen also looks like it wants to turn. Uh, just kind of floating around here, but Euro yen looks like it wants to turn higher. Prices through 80. Euro yen has a lot of clear air above. So just be careful with Euro. Uh, if you're short, uh, we suggest taking care here. Um, this Lagarde trade makes no sense to us. It's just nonsense uh, in general. Let's take a look at B BTPs. This was one of the more insane uh, charts yesterday. At one point, it was 20 basis points. Uh, yields went down to 159. Oh, sorry, it went down to 154. Just to put this in context, in May, yields were at 280. They've been cut in half, um, which is just ridiculous. This is the long-term BTP yield chart. Um, this is getting into silliness, the silly season. Uh, I think those of us who've been watching Italy and trading Italy, at least I've been trading it for 25 years, knows that Italy cannot be fixed. Um, you go through these bouts where people say, I think Italy's fixed. Italy's unfixable. Um, there are like intrinsic problems with that country revolving tax collection, um, just societal, the way Italy is run as a society and the way Italian citizens live make it pretty much fiscally unfixable. So we're very, very skeptical here, and we will be looking to fade this. Um, I guess we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer. There should be some stops uh, again below 150. This is the yield, so bond price is higher, maybe just a little bit higher, up to maybe 140 on the price. Um, the recent highs went up to 146.60. Uh, that was 2016. Just something to behold, uh, this move, and we are very, very skeptical. Um, obviously, we do know Italy pretty well. We spend a fair bit of time there. My wife is Italian. Uh, we'll be there for three weeks this summer. So it's not something that I'm just making up. Um, I do know a fair bit about Italy and have been trading it since the Mark Lira days uh, back in the 90s. This looks silly to me. Um, speaking of silly also, uh, let's look at the yield on the boons. Still on its knees. Minus 38 basis points for 10-year paper in Germany. This is the all-time lows. Every day it goes lower and lower. This also is just silly season. Um, we're not going to try and pick an exact low here, but as soon as we see a turn bar in boons, um, we will sell boons, which will be effectively buying yield. Again, this is all driven by Christine Lagarde. Nobody knows what she's going to do. Nobody knows what how things are going to look in September or October or at Christmas uh, when she'll have her first serious meeting. Um, so... Looks like the market's getting well, well ahead of itself. This, Both of these ideas dovetail with this uh, euro yen's going to head a bit higher um, today and over the coming days. It's probably not a bad um, vehicle for non-farms uh, just because you take the dollar component out and there should be stops above in euro yen and non-farms just typically get stops and everything uh, even the July 4th non-farms which should be more muted uh, than most what else is out there dollar Swiss uh, still hanging out 9860 cable did nothing yesterday we're just waiting for this 125 the f 125 the figure area to trade um, so we can kind of see what's happening this is the weekly um, the low yesterday was 60. In general, just super quiet. Uh, not a lot to do today on a July 4th. We're going to get outside today, enjoy the fresh air here in Switzerland. Um, I suggest you all either catch up on, on admin 
uh, or also get some fresh air or if you're in the US spend some time with the family uh, one of the better holidays in my opinion outdoors good food um, good time to get together with family and friends I'll just leave you guys with that we're short a little bit of stocks uh, we are along just a tiny bit of euro yen but all very social amounts we're basically doing nothing here um, nothing to sink our teeth into so be patient tomorrow should be more interesting uh, obviously with non-farms good luck out there people i'll talk to you tomorrow ciao